There is a part of our mind that we often ignore, a place where our thoughts are cornered by delusion and grandeur. Fantasy thrives here, and for Fallout fans, so does the idea of a new Fallout game. For years, fans of the series have clung to rumor after rumor, interview after interview, holding on to any grasp of hope that they could see their favorite post-apocalyptic world again. And for years, the clock ticks by, bringing us closer and closer to the reality of the situation. Fallout 5 is the only planned game moving forward. At the time of this recording, eight years after the release of Fallout 4 and five years after the questionable launch of Fallout 76, Fallout 5 is said to only be a sheet of paper. This begs the question, when will we see the next Fallout game? The optimistic among us may see hope for a single player spinoff, presented in the same way we saw New Vegas, or cling to the idea that we might see remakes or remasters of past games. In this video, I will give my take on when we will see the next Fallout game based on my experience with the Fallout series over the years, and honestly, it's not looking great. This video stems from comments made by Todd Howard over the last couple of years. Before I start the video, I want to explain that I understand that there's an incredible amount of work that goes into video game production. Teams consist of real people whom, for the most part, I respect greatly for their time and labor. Video games as a whole mean a lot to me, so the people that work long hours and sleepless nights to bring these worlds to us should be thanked at every chance that we get. I say this because I understand that Bethesda and its many studios have a ton of projects that they are working on at any given minute. While Fallout is likely a high priority, other projects like Starfield, The Elder Scrolls VI, and Fallout 76 take time and resources to develop and maintain. This is actually where I want to start when it comes to talking about how long it may be before we see the next Fallout game, Starfield. When Starfield was announced and hyped, Todd Howard began opening up and answering questions from the media. In June of 2022, one of the things he said about Fallout 5 was that it was a game that they were planning to do, and that, at this moment, they had a one-pager on it. With Starfield likely releasing in 2023, that will probably see a considerable studio shift to increase work on The Elder Scrolls VI, the confirmed next title in Bethesda's arsenal, a project that the studio seems to have done some work on, as we have seen Grandma Shirley be scanned in as an NPC and a chunk of the world map during the impressive teaser trailer. This has me assuming some amount of work has already been put into the next Elder Scrolls game. How much? We can't be sure at this time. Though, one interesting thing to note is quite a few developers recently left Bethesda, people who have been with the company for years, and have worked on every major project going back to Oblivion and Fallout 3. Some of these past employees list that they have done work on Starfield in their resume, but none of them list the Elder Scrolls 6. This, to me, means that it's likely not much work has been done on the game, or the people who are working on it are contracted and have no plans of leaving. Still, these longtime employees that finished their work on Starfield would have likely worked on the Elder Scrolls had it been a priority at this time. This leads me to believe that very surface level development has been done with the Elder Scrolls 6, and until Starfield is released, it will likely remain that way. So if we put ourselves in the time of a post Starfield release, we can start to understand how long it will be until we see Fallout 5. The year is 2023, and Starfield is delighting millions of people worldwide. Due to the Game Pass deal, many more people are playing Starfield than would have normally. Checking it out at no additional cost will be a huge plus for more casual gamers. After a brief period of celebration and perhaps a nice break, Bethesda begins full work on The Elder Scrolls VI. This is a project that will take years. Suppose virtually no work has been done on the project. In that case, we are looking at six or seven years at the very least before the game hits our hands, but that time only shrinks depending on how much is already done. We can assume they have more than a one-pager on The Elder Scrolls VI because we have seen the game world and the process of adding some NPCs, so we can assume the majority of writing on things like the main quest and probably a lot of the more significant side quests is already complete. While we don't know how much of the actual game world has been developed, we have seen some of it, so if we are being optimistic, 
let's say there is a good four years of work left on the Elder Scrolls 6 at the time of Starfield's release. If that is the case, we could see the next Elder Scrolls by 2027. Now, if we are going on the same time frame as we did before, we could assume work on Fallout 5 will match what has been done on the Elder Scrolls, meaning that by the time of the release of Elder Scrolls 6, the main quest and some world building could be done within Fallout 5. If we use the same logic here and keep the optimism going, we could say that Fallout 5 may have about four years of work left when the Elder Scrolls 6 comes out. So even being the most optimistic we can with the timeframes, we wouldn't see Fallout 5 until at least 2030 or even a couple of years after. Some may say that Bethesda has an army of studios that could work on these projects simultaneously, and I'm taking that into account with the prediction here. Without teams working on these games at the same time, we wouldn't have the generous time frame of four years each time a game is released. However, this poses an interesting question. What about a spinoff from another studio? Fallout New Vegas is widely considered to be the best of the series. The team behind the game, Obsidian, as an entity, has expressed interest in working in the Fallout universe again. Many of the past devs have posted similar things as well. While this is definitely great to hear, it's nothing concrete. While it's very out of place for a major game studio to mention past projects, especially of IPs they don't own, out of turn, it doesn't mean that anything is set in stone. Todd Howard has been on record saying he doesn't see the appeal of working on remasters or remakes and has no interest in another studio taking on Fallout again. Some may interject with the argument that now that Microsoft has added Bethesda to its umbrella, that choice is more out of Bethesda's hands. Still, Microsoft prides itself on being more hands-off with its studios. Developers have said they don't see the higher-ups forcing Bethesda's hand on the matter. Could Bethesda's attitude about this change between now and 2030? Absolutely. Still, as it stands right now, Fallout 5 is the only planned title for the series' future and it will probably be close to a decade before we see it. So what, what what's that world like? What's uh, the post-apocalyptic world of Fallout? If you can just briefly take a stroll into that world tone-wise. Well, there's, look, in entertainment, there's a lot of post-apocalyptic stuff. And what, what makes Fallout tick is the, the world that was left behind, the world that blew itself up, this utopian world of nuclear energy and it all goes wrong. So I love the American dream of that, like how they visioned the future in the 50s and that blowing itself up. I think that's like a super interesting place to explore, which is why we always wanted to play in that world. Um, and it does an amazing job of sort of weaving you know, the drama and darkness of a post-apocalyptic world with B-movie humor. Um, you know, it winks at the camera sometimes, often actually. And that when when you're in that world, it just has this this its own unique flow and and vibe outside of anything else kind of in that genre. 